Welcome back to Montreal Connected. Now, during the off season, many of Canada's top freestyle skiers train at a world-renowned facility at Lac Beaupar, Quebec. Our Kelly Gregg paid a visit to the training center recently to profile the high-flying Olivier Rochon. In a sport based on defying gravity and pushing your limits, one aerialist has quite the reputation. Meet Olivier Rochon, or as he's better known to his teammates, Hollywood. Hollywood, Hollywood. Uh, it was just a nickname that the older, the older generation would give him because he would really like Hollywood try anything. He would, uh, you know, go and do a crazy jump or just, you know, anything in, in his everyday life too. It was just something that kind of stuck pretty quickly. that Rochon is a thrill seeker. Olivier is one of the top members of the aerials team and he's always pushing for bigger, higher and more demanding jumps. Just the adrenaline rush. I mean that's always what I've looked to get in my life. You know even in gymnastics, extreme sports uh, is always something that that attracted me and I think this is one of the pretty good ones to get that, you know. You can't come here and you know not having that, you need that kind of craziness factor. Last season, Rochot won the Crystal Globe for overall World Cup champion. This winter, he's looking to secure his spot on the Olympic team. It's actually not the first time he's been in this position. Before he even took up aerials, he was expected to compete at the Games in London in an entirely different sport. I was a gymnast before on the national team and I was uh, hopeful for the uh, Games in 2012. But unfortunately I had to stop because I broke my, both of my wrists. It wasn't a fall, just you know stress fractures and needed surgery, decided not to get the surgery. And uh, my parents are skiers, so I knew how to ski. I was doing mogul skiing for uh, Mont saint sauveur and uh, Laurentides. I came to try it. I actually had both my arms in a cast when I came and you know I loved it. Tried it uh, a weekend and then decided to switch sports and continue uh, you know my dream to the Olympics in, in, in aerials. He's at the top of his game now but he's had some big obstacles to overcome. In 2011 he was suspended from the team due to disciplinary reasons and last year he suffered a sports hernia in competition. Cut! Cut! Oh and he drops into that landing. Very nice jump. His coach, Daniel Murphy, made the decision to suspend Rochon because he broke team rules. He's a little bit of a bad boy, but now after the suspension, he understands more like when to be a bad boy and when not to be one. He could become good, but for him to become great, he had to buy into being a full-time athlete. And there was no way we could have like explained that to him. So this, this suspension brought, uh, I think, some wisdom and you know, maturity to myself and I think that's what I needed and I'm happy they didn't kick me out of the team because I think that maybe that was an option too and they kind of saw the potential I had and that made me see it too and when I came back I uh, won the Crystal Globe and I think that was the only way I saw myself coming back and showing everybody that, you know, maybe I was a troublemaker before but I can still, you know, be the best in the world. He's going to get the chance to prove it in the coming months and no one expects any less. I really expect him to qualify for the Olympic Games, um, you know, in the coming World Cup months, and um, I, I expect to see him on the podium with me at in Sochi. That would be like our all-time goal, I think, and and not something out of the out of the question either. Now.